Today we learned of a second Tesla Model S Plaid that may have also ran an 8 second pass. I'm personally eager to see more Teslas running in the 8s and eventually even much faster, but unfortunately the numbers on that slip just don't add up for me. Here are some passes from Maryland International Raceway where Christine ran the first ever 8 in any Tesla. We have lots of data on this platform, especially 60 foot times, which is really the magic number required to make it happen. Uh, and just have a just deep intuitive understanding of what's required to make that number. With Night Fury, I'm typically using a spreadsheet where I'm tracking all the car's metrics at each point of the track. And this really helps to have an intuitive, deep understanding of what the car is doing and where we can improve. But I thought surely there must be a way to simulate this graphically. And it turns out there is this great program called the Time Slip Simulator. I just discovered it today. Really excited about this. It lets you take the actual time slip data and enter it, and then it can simulate the outcome from that. So let's try that out. So here I have entered the two time slips. On the left is Christine's with the first eight second pass. And on the right is the claimant, which I think you'll see very soon here is not an eight second pass. And again, I hate to be this person, but there are some physics being defied by that time slip. So here it is set up with the time slips for both cars. In the left lane is Christine with the actual eight second pass. In the right lane is the claimant. And I think this is quite interesting. Uh, you can see the left lane Christine pulling ahead the entire track until the thousand foot mark where the right lane jumps ahead unnaturally. And I just don't think this is possible for a Tesla. Check it out and see what you think. So just as expected, Christine pulling ahead. There's a thousand foot and what happened there? Uh, I just, I'm not familiar with Tesla's suddenly getting a surge of power in the last 300 feet. I mean, it would take almost uh, a doubling of horsepower in my experience to see that rate of acceleration on a car that's already fully saturated. There's no more battery to give at that point, and uh, there's no more power. So there you go. Okay, here we are set up again. This is the view from the left lane, Christine's car and the view over to what I do believe is the slower car. And here we go. And just as the time slip shows, left lane, the faster car pulling ahead until 1,000 foot. Sorry, Teslas do not do that. And once again, the overhead view. Christine, left lane. And just as predicted, pulling hard right lane and then thousand foot. Sorry, again, Teslas do not do what you just saw. I have to call complete BS on the claimant. There is only at this time one eight second Tesla in the world. If you follow my posts, you know, I rarely ever speak and I also rarely go over one minute, but since I have done both of those things, Let's go ahead and show an inside view and an outside view of Christine with the actual eight second. And oh, there we go. Tesla defying physics just one last time. Okay, let's check out the eight second pass. Yes! <laughs> First Tesla in the entire world, in the eights, Christine Dodworth. Yeah. Yachty. What's it on? Let me see. Woo! <laughs> Sweet. First plat in the eights. Yeah. First Tesla. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's nasty. Good job. Oh, sweet. I looked at my drag, and my drag is at 902. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> We gotta get that eight on the draggy next. What do we do? There it is. First Tesla in the eights in the world. 899, nice. Yeah. I'll That's take that. I was here. <laughs> here. It's the mustache. I mean, right. I'm just saying. All right, now she's gonna back it up. We're gonna get the draggy eight. That's coming up right now, the draggy eight.
30, 60, 60. 